The first eight mice were introduced, four males and four females. They explored, they nested, and they thrived. With endless resources, the population doubled every two months or so. And by the day 315, there were over 600 mice. Every indicator of success was off the charts. Healthy babies, a stable social groups, plenty of food. Calhoun called this the explosive phase. It was paradise, but paradise did not last. As the population kept rising, the space became crowded, but not physically. There was still plenty of room, but socially. Too many mice, too many faces, too little meaning. That's when things began to unravel. The first cracks showed in the mothers. Even though food and shelter were everywhere, some mothers began abandoning or attacking their own babies. Others stopped building nests or completely forgot how to rear their young. The males began to lose structure too. Dominant males started fighting endlessly, beating, wounding, and killing without reason. Weaker males withdrew completely, hiding in corners, grooming themselves obsessively, and refusing to mate. Calhoun called this withdrawn passive males the beautiful ones. They didn't fight, they didn't breathe, they just sat alone, eating, cleaning themselves, and staring into nothing. Physically perfect, but mentally gone. By the day 1000, the utopia was silent. The population peaked at just over 2000 mice, then started to crash. 